welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to create a New Year's Eve look for you guys. I was super excited to film this look. I was trying to decide what exactly I would wear for the Christmas Eve party that I'm going to. I've never been to a Christmas Eve party before, so yeah, just I'm so excited. Usually every year we end up going to church and have like a watch night service like throughout midnight until into the new year, you know, at church. Um, but this year we're gonna mix it up a little bit. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys normally do for Christmas Eve. I am so interested in knowing. Uh, I know I can't be the only one who has not been to a New Year's Eve party. I hope I'm not the only one. This look is super glitzy, super glam, and perfect for your next New Year's Eve party. So if you guys are interested, just keep watching. As always, I'm starting off by pulling back my hair with this adorable pair of Mickey ears. And of course, I cannot film without having friends play in the background. So first I'm taking my Morphe 25A Copper Spice Palette and with a fluffy brush, I'm applying this peachy color in my crease as my transition shade. I wanted my crease to be a little bit darker and more brown, so I'm mixing that peachy shade with this milk chocolate shade. Then I'm applying this ColourPop Super Shock Shadow called Midnight all over my lids. This is literally the most perfect New Year's color ever. It is a black base with a crap ton of gold glitter in it. To blend out the rough edges, I'm using these two milky brown colors. Next, to create more depth, I'm going to dip into the black and darken the outer corner. And with a fluffy crease brush, blend out any harsh edges. Then I just reapplied that ColourPop eyeshadow for more intensity. Then taking my Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder in Illuminati, I'm going to highlight my inner corners and brow bone. And just blend everything out with a fluffy brush. Now for the star of the show, I'm using these amazing Stila Liquid Eyeshadows in Diamond Dusk and Smoky Storm and concentrating it on the center of the eyelid and slowly blending outwards using a small detail brush. It's almost like a cut crease look, so make sure not to place this in the crease, only on the lids. Then I'm going back into the black and darkening the outer corner to bring in more contrast. Next I'm taking the same two colors I used in the crease and blending them onto the lower lash line. And then I'm using the black shadow on the outer bottom lash line. Here I'm using my NYX Treasure D eyeliner in black for my waterline and to tightline as well. Now I'm filling in my brows using the Brow Gal Brow Powder. Going in with my Micah Beauty Gel Liner in black, I'm creating a wing. And here I'm just curling my lashes and applying my Tarte Tartiest Mascara. This has quickly become my go-to mascara. I love it. Taking a Q-tip dipped in some makeup remover, I'm cleaning up any fallout and then picking up any loose glitter with some tape. As always, I am moisturizing my face before I begin applying foundation for a smoother application. Next, I'm priming my face with the Benefit Pore Professional. 
For foundation, I'm using the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer in 05 or Warm Beige. And I'm going to mix in this Becca Liquid Shimmering Skin Perfector in Prosecco Pop for a glowy finish. I'm first going to apply the foundation with a brush for more coverage and then blend it out further using a beauty sponge for a flawless finish. Now I'm going in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Light Medium Honey. I'm going to set the concealer using this Ofra Cosmetics Banana Powder. And to set the rest of my face, I'm using this Physician's Formula Argan Wear Bronzer in Light Bronzer. To bring more warmth to my face, I'm going to bronze and contour using this amazing Tarte Park Avenue Princess Bronzer. For blush, I'm using this Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in Mellow Wine. And for highlight, I'm going back in with the Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder in Illuminati. Then I was like, eh, why not be a little extra and add more highlight? So I added the Ofra Cosmetics Rodeo Drive highlight. Apparently, my goal is to blind 2018. I don't know. Then just brush away your powder that you were baking your face with. Since this is for a New Year's party, I decided to add on these kish la kish, kiss lashes uh, in the style Shy. I seriously need to get new ones. I have used this pair one too many times, but I can't help it. They're just so beautiful. Now I'm lining my lips with this Jordana lip liner in Tawny. And I actually really liked this lip color, just this lip liner alone, but of course I wanted to add more. So I'm placing the Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid Lipstick in Nude Thrill right in the middle and blotting outwards. Then I gently blended everything together using a big kabuki brush. I use this trick all the time. It helps all of the makeup to blend together and create a seamless finish. And finally, I'm locking in my makeup with this Project Beauty Setting Spray. Alright guys, so that's it for this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'm also wishing you guys a very happy new year. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!